Hello, a very good evening to you today. My name is Sister Temi Tayo, and I'm here to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. Now, the Open Heavens Daily Devotional that I'm sharing is this one that is compiled by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. And um, if you're visiting my channel for the very first time, I'm sure you'll be wondering, okay, Sister Temi, why are you sharing this particular daily devotional? Why not? Why not another one? Um, as I prepared to enter into the year 2020, the Spirit of God instructed me to begin to share this particular daily devotional by Pastor E.A. Adeboye on YouTube to be very specific. And I was able to start that is, you know, assignment in the month of June 2020. I shared the devotional not only in June, but also in August, in October and December. And in this year 2020, the Spirit of God has instructed me to continue to share in March 2021 and I thank God for the privilege so please I will encourage you that as you're already on my channel please subscribe tap the notification bell uh, drop a comment ask me a question you know so I, and you know you tap the notification bell so every time I upload a video you are aware amen and I know you'll be blessed because um, all this uh, you know the scriptures are inspired by the Holy Spirit too, and they would definitely be a blessing for to you and I know you definitely find a, a topic and um, topics that interest you Amen. Thank you very much for visiting my channel again. Now, Pastor Adeboye, he led me to Christ in October 1997, many years ago when I was in the University of Lagos in Nigeria, in West Africa as an undergraduate. And Pastor Adeboye's style of teaching is that he will give you a few scriptures to read. He will give you a memory verse. And when you read those two pieces of scriptures from the Bible, it helps you to understand what he's trying to communicate to the body of Christ via the Spirit of God. Amen. And I know you'll be blessed as you listen. Praise God. Today, again, is Sunday, March the 20th. And I'm sure many of us are either in our churches or watching, you know, the service online. So I know this will bless you mightily. Praise God. Now, our scriptural reading is taken from the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah is in the Old Testament. It's one of the poetic books. Amen. Because the Old Testament is divided into five. So Nehemiah chapter 8, verses 9 to 10, just to verses now if you come to church very regular and you know as a christian you may have heard the scripture many times but you don't know exactly what it is so i'm going to read today from the traditional king james version nehemiah chapter 8 verses 9 and 10 just two verses and thus goes the reading of god's word and nehemiah which is the first shatha and ezra the priest the scribe and the Levites that taught the people said unto all the people, This day is holy unto the Lord your God. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto, unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry for the joy of the Lord. Is your strength amen neither be ye sorry of do not be sorrowful for the joy of the lord is your strength amen may god bless the reading of his word basically the children of Israel, you know they had gone into captivity in babylon and the time had come for them to return home to build the walls of jerusalem and as they were there i'm sure we all know ezra ezra was scribe a teacher of the word of god and nehemiah the teshata or the governor you know, instructed the Levites to read the word of God to the people. And as they read the word of God, the people realized that actually the things they've been doing, they've been sinning and they had really done some really, really nasty things to the Lord. And they were sorrowful. The Bible says that uh, godly repentance brings, um, you know, they were sorry for what the things that they had done and how they had um, sinned against the Lord. And they began to be sorrowful. But then Nehemiah said, um, today is not a day to weep. Today is a day of rejoicing because of the restoration to God, you know, so that they should, you know, share food, rejoice and be not sorrowful because the joy of the Lord is our strength. And the title of today is Rejoice Evermore. Depression is a spirit that can be cast out. Can I just say that? Speak against that spirit and cast it out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ because the spirit of God cannot dwell in an environment where there's sorrow. Pastor says, so the, the memory verse is taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, and it says, rejoice evermore. Discouragement, Pastor says, is one of the weapons, one major weapon the devil uses to, to ruin people's destinies. 
a fellow that is discouraged cannot have the strength to move on. Our memory verse for today says you should rejoice evermore. We should rejoice evermore. Because when we let sadness into our lives, it will hinder the achievement of our goals in life. The joy of the Lord is your strength in Nehemiah 8.10 and you will need it in order to fulfill your destiny. Praise God. Joy, there's a difference between joy and happiness. Happiness is temporal and earthy. Joy is one of the fruits of the Spirit. It means that you can be going through uh, a very serious situation yet. The joy of the Lord from inside your spirit strengthens you with might. Amen. I wrote here that with joy, we draw water from the wells of salvation. In Isaiah 12, I believe it is. With joy, we draw water from the wells of salvation. The pastor says we need that joy to fulfill our destiny. Amen. Another thing that came to my mind as I was reading this is that when we go to church, the Bible says in his presence is fullness of joy and at his right hand there are pleasures evermore. Find out that no matter how down or how many problems you have, when you get to church and they are singing and dancing, the, the spirit leaves you. Amen. And you must hold on to that joy and continue to give God thanks. Because when you look into your situation, there's always something to give thanks for. Many things to give thanks for. Pastor says, Elijah was a great man with a great destiny to fulfill. He was going very strong until the day discouragement set in. He became so discouraged that he asked God to take his life in 1 Kings 19 verse 4. And after he made that request, God sent an angel to him to feed him. The Bible says in 1 Kings 19 7, And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for thee. Okay, the journey had become too tough for Elijah because he had become discouraged. He had lost his joy. Pastor prays for us that may we never lose our joy in Jesus' name. And I say amen. You see, when you are sorrowful, you're weak. But when you are joyful, there is a strength that come when you're full of joy. Oh my God, you're strengthened. You know, and that's why Paul was praying that we'll be strengthened with might by the Holy Ghost in our inner man. When the joy of the Lord is at work in you, you are strengthened with might. There's nothing that can bring you down. Amen. You are so hopeful because you know that God is going to make a way where there is no way. It doesn't matter what you have lost, you know. You, you are just strengthened. So, um, the spirit of might and strength is tied, works hand in hand with joy. In the, I, Amen. So, when you are joyful, you are strong. You are strengthened. Amen. In our Bible reading for today, we see Nehemiah encouraging the people after he saw them weeping because he knew that without strength that comes from the joy of the Lord, they will not be able to build the wall. Proverbs 17 verse 22 says, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. You know, in, in Revelation, Jesus Christ said, Weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Amen. The lion of the tribe of Judah has, prevail, has prevailed. So when Nehemiah saw the people weeping, he knew that they, if, they con if they allowed that sorrow to overtake them, they won't be able they won't have strength to build amen so he says you, you you may have many worries and problems that make it difficult for you to rejoice but the bible says that a broken spirit will dry your bones being worried cannot add a cubit to your stature in matthew 6 27 neither can it solve any problem it can only dry your bones you know you may have a problem and you take it to the lord and as you are pouring your heart out like water before the lord you are crying but can assure you that by the time you commit that heavy problem into the hands of God and you get up from that place of prayer, the Bible says that you can't, you know, the 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 worry God takes it from you. You commit it into you, He takes it from you, and that's what Hannah was going through. Hannah, the mother of Samuel, she married no children, you know, and she went and she prayed and she prayed and she prayed and she prayed until the priest thought she was drunk. And she said, no, I'm not a woman. You know, I'm a woman of a sorrowful, sorrowful spirit. I put out my heart before the Lord. And the priest prayed that God will grant her petition and God give her a son. But the Bible says when she had finished praying, she got up and her countenance was no longer sad. So when you have committed everything into the hands of God, leave it in his hands. Get up and go and rejoice. Amen. So pastor says a fellow who is always gloomy is merely giving negative energy to his or her body system. And will often fall sick but a person who rejoices always will live a long and healthy life praise the lord and pastor says to us choose the joy of the lord today i choose the joy of the lord the joy of the lord is my strength 
and receive strength for the journey ahead. I thank God for where I am on the way to where I'm going. Like I said, in the presence of God, there's fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Just put on a worship tape and begin to dance. I said that joy is the fruit of the spirit. Happiness is earthy. It's fleeting. You can be listening to a comedian now, laughing, 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 laughing. But it's, it's fleeting. It passes away. You know, after, after the comedian is gone, your problems will face you. It's only God that can give you joy unspeakable and full of glory. Action point. Cast all your cares on Jesus today and rejoice, singing and dancing as you go through the day. Amen. Praise the Lord. Like I said, um, um, depression is a spirit that can you, you lift up a standard against it. Lift up a standard against it by the word of God. And look for 10 things that you can give God thanks for. Amen. And as you begin to give God thanks, because God has done all things well, as you begin to give God thanks, the spirit of sorrow will be cast out in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor says we should cast all our cares on Jesus today and rejoice, singing and dancing as you go. Remember how Hannah cast her cares and her burdens upon Jesus, upon the Lord, and God granted her her petition. And the Bible says she, her countenance was no longer sad. Amen. Rejoice evermore. Amen. Thank you very much for taking time to listen to me today. I really appreciate it very much. I pray that God will bless you. And I pray that you really have a great service today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell, and drop me a comment. And may God bless you exceedingly. Amen. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful service.